everyone, my name is Spider GB and welcome back to the 19th episode of my Terraria Christmas playthrough. It is six days until Christmas, my friends. Six days, and I am super excited. So today, we're going to be doing a variety of things. First of which is going to be making the defensive beetle armor as well. A bunch of you guys were going ahead and saying that I was being a noob and I made the offensive beetle armor. And, well, upon reflection... I kind of agree with you guys because, you know, first of all, you know, on the first time I take down the Frost Moon, I want to be able to stay alive so I can kill bosses and all that kind of stuff. And as a result, I do indeed agree with the fact that defensive uh, beetle armor, which is going to give us 32 defense instead of 20, would do us more justice. So, yeah, I completely agree with you guys. But what it means is we're going to need to go chlorophyte mining turtle hunting and also we're going to need to take down another golem boss for more beetle husks because unfortunately five is just not enough so yeah man we're going to go ahead and get a whole bunch of stuff going we've got a soft spelling potions already uh i'm feeling like battle potions would also be a good idea but I don't have any there, so maybe we head down here and make ourselves some. So, do 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 do. There we go, battle potions. I'm going to make two of them just as a just in case kind of procedure. And yeah, we're going to do ourselves a bit of a mini montage of getting chlorophyte, getting turtle shells, and, and taking down the, the golem boss and stuff. So basically, Santa's going to be a badass all in one montage. Let's get it done! Alrighty guys, so we have ourselves over half a stack of Chlorify Ore, 626 Chlorify Ore. We've got ourselves two little power cells now, because obviously I managed to farm one out. Three life roots, let's get ourselves up to 420 health. Got a turtle shell as well, which means, ladies and gentlemen, the time has finally come to defeat Gollum a couple of times. And as a result, we should get ourselves enough beetle husks to be able to complete our beetle armor set. And the reason why I've got so much Chlorify is kind of a kill two birds with one stone kind of deal in that uh, all we'll need to farm out from now on is going to be the ectoplasm. We shouldn't need to mine any more Chlorify ore for the entirety of the series now because I believe we have more than enough to make ourselves spectre armor uh, once we get to that point. So, yeah. But in the meantime, my friends, we have ourselves some golem fights to go ahead and uh, and do. This is probably like the third episode in November when we're doing this. So, yeah. I think what I'll do is I'll skip to the end of each fight. And we'll see what we get. Alright, and here's the first golem about to go down. Boom! Get out of here, buddy. What have we got? It is a possessed hatchet. Not exactly useful to our cause. I mean, we're probably going to sell that straight off the rip. So, yeah. I'm going to wait until my potion sickness uh, wears off. And then we're going to do ourselves the second golem fight. Oh, this is a close one. I ain't get destroyed. All right, what's it going to be? A golem fist? Dang it, man. Well, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, there is no sign of a pixel. And that was the last lizard power cell that I am going to be using to obviously fight Gollum. So, yeah, unfortunately, we didn't manage to get the stuff that we were looking for. In other words, the pixel. But uh, we did still manage to get the beetle husks. And everything is pretty much good. So, yeah, let's head back to base, my friends. All right, so here we are back at base, my friends. Let's go ahead and start off by talking to Santa Claus, who apparently is down here now. Because I think he might have died in the previous episode, which kind of sucks. But, uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I think the time has now come for us to get the defensive beetle armor good so here we go let's head up here real quick let's get ourselves as many chlorophyte bars as we can make wow more than a full stack that is incredible all right let's head over here real quick let's get ourselves a another turtle scale mail built and then of course we'll get the defensive beetle armor right there there it is beetle shell 32 defense as opposed to 20 so now we are going to have ourselves a whopping 79 defense which is very nice indeed very, very nice indeed. Holy crap. Alright, so, we have ourselves the Frost Moon to take down, but we're going to do that on the next night because, ladies and gentlemen, I want to go ahead and make a bit of an arena which will involve the use of these two things, a honey bucket, lava bucket, and, uh, yeah, it's it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Wait, somewhere about, I do believe I have some uh, some traps as well. If not in here, then in the piggy bank. 
Uh, hello, good sir. Let's put you down. There we go. Super dark traps. I'm going to try and utilize some traps and other stuff like that in this first attempt at the frost moon. So, I think what we're going to do is uh, go to the mechanic. Do we have a mechanic? I hope we have a mechanic because it will kind of suck if we didn't. Let's just uh, have a look real quick. Uh, mechanic. Do we? Oh, there she is. Huh. She's, uh, she's in our main base. The very first base that we built. Okay, so. Here we go. Let's get ourselves a wrench real quick. Uh, I think we're going to need a little bit more in the way of lava buckets than just two. I think I might need like four of them. So if I go and make myself a couple more buckets and head down to lava level, grab myself some more lava. And uh, yeah, I think we'll be good to go from there on in. So let me go ahead, head down, get some lava, and we'll start on our trap. Aha! There's a bunch of lava. Let's pick it up. So now we've got four lava buckets and things are looking real nice. Okay, I'm going to keep the offensive beta llama on me just for the sake of having it, I guess. And uh, yeah, I think, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come to get our trap underway. We're going to do it just under where the massive wooden platform is. We're going to go ahead and fill a whole bunch of it with, uh, with lava. So obviously people just die upon impact. And then all should be good to go from there. So let's just have a look at the terrain underneath. Uh, hmm. Okay, so something like... I want to try and count. I need to count how many blocks high up this is. Because if it's like 37 blocks or more, the mobs will be able to spawn underneath it. So, uh, let's just use these as a bit of a counter, shall we? So, let's try and count up. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... We'll go 40 blocks up. There we go. Seems like a good enough number to me. Okay, so this is going to be the level at which our platform's going to go. And then the ground below is where the traps are going to go. And it's going to be freaking awesome, my friends. Hopefully, it's all going to go well first time. So, yeah, let me go ahead and uh, raise up this platform a bit, and then we'll move on to getting the lava in place. Hey, check it out, my friends. We haven't seen this guy in a very long time, have we? A rainbow slime. Holy crap, dudes. <laughs> oh, nice one. Alrighty, guys. So we're just in the process of wiring up the super dark traps. As you can see, I've got them floating in the air. So it'll do some damage, at the very least, to the big boss dude. You know, Santa NK1, the uh, the Everscreen boss. And even when it comes to the pumpkin moon, it can do damage against morning wood, which is pretty awesome. So, yeah. We're looking good. Let's just give it a quick test run. Uh, hey, that's looking good, isn't it? Uh, okay. How the heck did I not notice that explosive trap before? I mean, seriously, I've been in the spider biome so many times, and I never go... <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't even, I can't even rage at that. It's just too funny. I, I'm laughing at the fact that I've been in that biome so many times, and I never, ever came across that explosive trap before, dude. That's hilarious. <laughs> Uh. Alright guys, so we are now back in action and I'm happy to say that the arena is pretty much there. I'm really happy with it to the fact where I actually added in a couple more traps. These little grey things here, these are geysers that you get underground at the lava layer. I've got the honey pool done, I've got my crystal ball, my piggy bank and of course the safe up there. Super dark traps and lava is spanning for a long, long way. Now I'm just in the process of combining a bunch of accessories just to see what kind of things we can do. So here we go. We have ourselves a destroyer emblem, which is 10% increased damage and 8% increased crit chance. Or we've got increased melee knockback and 12% increased damage and melee speed. Ooh. I'd rather like this. Mm. We've got increased damage or we've got increased crit chance. The increased crit chance will give us a chance of doing even more damage. So, I don't know, man. I think that maybe the destroyer emblem could be a cool idea. Yeah. I mean, we've got this at the very least, which is really kind of nice. Uh, that's got melee knockback and melee speed. Destroy emblem, that's going to be real nice. I might go and reforge this with the, with the tinkerer real quick. Menacing. Warding. God damn, that's pretty damn nice, my friends. Menacing would be... Do you know what? We'll go very angry. I imagine this thing's going to come in useful in the later waves when Ice Queen comes along and she starts poning my butt. Now, before going ahead and doing anything, let's go ahead and spam open these presents real quick. Quickly, because we're running out of time. Uh, 47 of the buggers. Pretty much nothing good, let's be honest right here. Uh, let's go ahead and put a bunch of stuff in here. I'm not even going to organize them because we are running against the clock here, my friends. We've got about 10 seconds to try and get some buff potions out. And then we are going to be going full swing into the frost moon. So let's have a little bit of that and some titan potions and some archery potions. And I feel like we should be good to go. So ladies and gentlemen, 
the Frost Moon. Let's go ahead and give it a go. Obviously, we, this is our very, very first time actually trying this out, so hopefully it goes well. So we are now heading over to our arena. Uh, let's obviously try and do some damage as we go along. Obviously, that's going to be real nice. Oh, mate, this is going to be quite rough, it has to be said. I mean, I'm not actually doing that great amount of damage against these guys, which is kind of concerning for the later waves. But, you know, if we can get some cool weapons, then I'm going to be good to go. So Christmas tree sword is something we can get. Oh, there's a present mimic there. I might go ahead and take him down real quick. All right. Come on, peep. Come on. And there we go. There's another wave inbound. And let's get ourselves those hearts right there. And let's get ourselves down to the arena, my friends. Here we go, my friends. Let's get it going. It's already on, which is awesome. And, yeah, here we go. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just pretty much wait here and see what happens, I guess. Hoo -hoo -hoo! Hopefully it will just kick everybody's butt. There we go. 13%, 20%. Oh, my God. Everything's good to go. Look at it, man. Look at it. Look at the wave counter. It's going up so quick. <laughs> That's amazing, man. That's incredible. Uh, let's put that down there. The Staff of the Frost Hydra. He should be able to do us a, a little bit more damage. There we go. Wave 3 has just started, which is awesome. These guys seem to be completely incapable of actually shooting me. That's actually kind of funny. Maybe if I go up here real quick, then they might wind up moving around, I guess. So, Wave 4 inbound. Very, very nice indeed. The, uh, the Ever Scream boss is going to start spawning in very shortly, my friends. And the question is, is his attacks... Or are his attacks going to be able to get up to me? I have no idea. I'm considering going ahead and getting rid of the snow. Uh, yeah, and making the lava span all the way across just so we're always doing damage. You know what I'm saying? So, here we go. We're going to do one of the most dangerous things I've ever done in my life. In fact, no, we can't because I can't even get down there. That is fantastic. Okay, we're just going to have to sort of deal with it for now, I guess. All right, here we go. Ah, I got some! <laughs> I got some of the blocks out of the way. <laughs> oh, mate, this is going to be rough. Uh, there we go. Can I, like, take these blocks down? One, two, three. There we go. All right, everybody's going to get killed now. Hopefully, right? Yeah, that's not, like, ruined things, has it? Oh, no, I think it has. I think it has. No, they're surviving. They're surviving. No, 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 no. These guys is, have ruined it. I've ruined it. I've ruined the arena. I need to go ahead and, like, restart this entire thing. Oh, I've messed up big time. I have really messed this up. Oh, jeez. This is terrible, my friends. This is absolutely terrible. I've completely messed up my arena. All right, well, whatever the case, let's go ahead and just, uh, let's just stay here, I guess. Santa NK1, you are going down, my friend, even though I'm doing, like, a really pants amount of damage. There you go. Oh, what? He didn't drop anything. Oh, mate, I don't think I'm going to get a single drop from this pumpkin moon. Not pumpkin moon, frost moon. Dang it, man. I was rather hoping to get at least one thing. Maybe a Christmas tree sword, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God, there's three of these guys now. Get out. Oh, four. Make it four. Make it four. I'm about to die. I would prefer not dying, of course. There we go. That's you out the game. And that's you out the game. I really do hate the elf copters. They are the most pain in the ass, crappy, crappy enemy. They really are. <laughs> God damn it. And that's the end of the first Frost Moon, my friends. Like I said, not very happy at all with how it went. But, uh, you know, the whole point of this thing is to go ahead and improve it as we go along. I really should have thought about the fact that I put the... I should have put the geysers below. Really, Ice Golem? I don't need you right now, okay? Go away. No one likes you. <laughs> I mean, maybe at the beginning of hard mode people like you, but right now you are just a massive pain. And I, I don't want you around, so, yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to go get some more lava and I'll be back in just a second. Alright guys, so as you can see, not much has changed up here, but if we look below, what I've gone ahead and done is I've added more traps, more lava, and therefore hopefully more damage to this entire thing. I really do hope that this is going to do the job in terms of taking people out. So if we just go ahead and switch it on real quick, I went ahead and I used a bunch of wire and whatnot. So as you can see, it will go ahead and spear and throw spiky balls on people because, you know, spiky balls are great and such. <laughs> Alright, so we've got less than a minute left. And of course, because we took down the Frost Moon on the previous night, we can go ahead and once again open a bunch of these up. Uh, again, nothing that interesting, it has to be said. So I might as well just go ahead and uh, sell a bunch of this stuff. So let's just 
I'm just gonna sell it all basically. I don't really need it. I don't really need any of it. Unfortunately, no red drops on that one. So we've got about 20 seconds. So let's just see if there's any buff potions we can make real quick. Uh, not really. Nothing that we might actually need anyway. I might take a second Titan potion and then another Night Owl one, I guess, just so we've got like a, a, a an equal amount across the board. Oh crap! I didn't even I didn't even make the summoning thing. I'm an idiot. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Bunch of that, and also, what is it, what is it, what is it? It is ectoplasm, one, two, three, four, five. All right, okay, so we're starting a tiny bit late, but it doesn't matter, we can still get this thing rolling. So here we go, we're just gonna go ahead and get straight into it, we're about 10 seconds late, but that is fine. We're not even gonna take anyone down, we're just gonna go straight over to the arena and see about killing a bunch of dudes. Hello, Jinju Birdman, how you doing, friendos? Hey, look at all these guys. All right, here we go, my friends, the time's come to get some ponage underway. Let's get it going. Alright, boom. Do it. Kick some ass. There we go. Wave 1, 16% of the way through. I can imagine the first few waves going by really quickly. There we go. 44, 48, 60%. 64, 72. We are... Wow. Okay. These guys are getting absolutely demolished now. Yeah, my upgraded trap is working real nice. Wave 2, wave 3. Already on the board. Wave 3, 10%, 30%, 40%, 80%. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Santa Claus is a badass. 46%, 50. Wave 4. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. Everybody's getting destroyed. 73, 86. Wave 5. Everscream is now among us. You can see him on the bottom left hand corner there. Holy crap. How is he going to fare against all of our traps? Let's see. Can I not? Oh, you can't see his health. If only you could hover over them on the mini-map and see how much health they have. That'd be pretty freaking sweet. Now let's get down and have a look. Seven, I mean, 9k health. Oh my god, these guys are getting rinsed. Holy mother of god. <laughs> oh, my traps are doing work, baby. Let's go ahead and buff up and let's start doing some actual damage with our weapons here. As you can see, 4k health is now the amount he has. Everybody is getting D freaking destroyed. It is amazing. I can't even fly. Okay, there we go. Oh, just amazing. Just amazing. And our first kill, unfortunately, didn't yield any drops, which is unfortunate. But it is still awesome, the amount of damage we are doing. Oh, elf copters. Oh, these guys I'm actually going to have to deal with. Because, you know, they're kind of a pain in the ass. And they weren't, you know, susceptible to our traps. So, that's a thing. Hey, buddy! Hey, how are you doing, friendo? Oh, there's two Everscreams coming along at the same time. This is going to be pretty interesting to see how we do against them. 57%, 60% of wave 6 is now done. We have only gone through like two and a half minutes of this event, which is kind of crazy. Alright, let's keep ourselves going. Obviously, the Everscreams, they're just going to get absolutely destroyed. I mean, I don't even see a point in doing anything, really. I might, I might, should we try and take them down with the Ice Bow? Because I really do want to try and stay up. Whoa, 146 crit damage? Did you guys see that? Holy crap. Hey, come on, man. Just keep it going. 116 crit damage. How are we looking down here? 8k health. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's keep it going. We're just going to make sure that our flight is able to get us back up to the platform. If we can get us back to the back up to the platform even, then I think we'll be good to go. All right, there we go. 6k health. Dudes, we are just absolutely destroying bot right now. It's kind of crazy. And I love it so much. All right, more elf copters. Get off me, brother. There you go. All good to go. All right, 5k health is now the amount they're down to, which is awesome. And yeah, let's go ahead and keep going and see what kind of drops we can get from these guys. Wave 7. Nice one. <gasps> guys, down there, I see a razor pine. I've got to get it before the blooming max item despawn thing activates. All right, we've got the health. Oh god, I gotta get down there, man. I gotta get that razor pine. It's our first proper Christmas weapon from the Frost Moon. I'm super hyped about it, man. <laughs> yes! And now we have a proper use for our Spectre armor. Oh, baby, I'm so looking forward to this. Alright, how's it looking right now? 4k health. I gotta get it, man. I gotta get that thing. Alright, can I get down there? Uh, razor pine! No! Oh, razor pine has been achieved. Awesome. I'm super happy about this. Oh, okay. Let's not die. Come on, Santa Claus. Don't die on me. Ah, oh, Santa Claus died. No. Santa Claus was crushed by a present. 
That's ironic, isn't it? We're getting crushed by a present. God damn, but ladies and gentlemen, our first Frost Moon drop. The Razor Pine has been achieved or obtained. Super happy about that. All right, if I can get, like, get out of here, that'd be fantastic. How's it looking? Oh, no, we respawned. Oh, no. Which means I don't think we're going to be getting any uh, Santa NK1 drops, which kind of sucks. But anyways, guys, we've got two minutes left. Let's get back to the arena and see if we can't get some more ponage on the way. Come on, Santa NK1. It may be daytime, but he hasn't despawned yet. Come on, buddy. Let's kill him. Come on, give me something cool. Anything at all. I don't think there is. Unfortunate, that. That is really unfortunate. All right, let's turn off the traps real quick. Holy crap, is there a lot of stuff around? Or is there a lot of stuff around? God damn. <laughs> yeah, baby. All right, let's get this thing rolling. Alley up, let's try and avoid that and not die and such. Here we go. We're just going to do a big sweep of this thing. There we go. All right, did we get anything decent? We've got the Razor Pine. That's decent enough, my friends. And, of course, 19 presents. We're going to go ahead and open them at the start of the next episode. But on that note, it's going to be time to end this episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. It's been a long one for me. Nearly a two-hour recording for one episode. That's quite rough for a daily series. Good lord above. <laughs> but hopefully you guys did enjoy. Do be sure to drop a like rating if you did. And of course, hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on my future content. If you have any more tips or suggestions regarding my trap and how to improve it, then do of course let me know. Always open to suggestions and feedback. But anyways, aside from that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.